here to move that the House take note of miscellaneous business. Speaker. Honourable Bill Speaker. English. So, Mr Speaker, last week, the Labor Party talking about electoral fraud. You've got to be joking. Don't they remember writing out their cheques for the pledge card? Don't they remember the 800000 the taxpayer had to get back from the Labor Party? But, of course, of course, now, under the new leader of the Labor Party, the pledge card, like his CV, will be a living document. <laughs> kind of like the treaty, but without the principles. A CV, a CV, a CV that changes as time goes on. And, Mr Speaker, if you ask yourself the question, where did David Cunliffe get his numbers for regional economic growth in New Zealand, I think he got them from the same place as he got his CV. That is, some little compartment in the back of his mind that has a tremendous power of imagination. And so it was that the Mother Teresa with the MBA from Harvard got it completely wrong got it completely wrong on Taranaki. So, Mr Speaker, in this last week, the International Monetary Fund put out its figures that said New Zealand would... But, yeah, this is nasty for the Labor Party. New Zealand is the fifth fastest-growing economy in the developed world. Very good. Out of 35... A tribute to all those New Zealanders who have shown so much resilience over the last five years in the face of recession, in the face of earthquake, bad weather and the headwinds of a high exchange rate. And with the support of the government, they have made this economy grow, delivering more jobs and higher incomes. And the Leader of the Opposition said with a straight face, and I've been follow I followed a bit what he's saying. So basically it is Auckland's struggling, Wellington's stuffed, the provinces are had it, Christchurch is stagnant, Taranaki is gone. And Taranaki's gone because, quote, people are leaving in droves. Well, Let's look at the headline from today. Taranaki leaders are hailing new population figures that show the region is booming. Oh! Now we're finding out why the Labour caucus didn't vote for David Cunliffe. Because they know what we're finding out and he just makes it up. How stupid could he be? Pick the strongest growing region in New Zealand and make that your poster boy for the failure... Order. Order. Pick. So this, Order. Is, this, is, this is the logic. Mother Teresa with the MBA from Harvard University says... Order. If I get another interjection from the Annie King, she'll be leaving the chamber as well. Well, Sorry to the, interrupt member, the, the member. member just wishes she'd stood for mayor. What... Why didn't that member stand for Mayor of Wellington? Because she would have lost, that's why. So here's the logic. The Labour Party are running a campaign on regional development. A campaign on regional development. And what they do is they take their shiny new leader and they say, David, pick the fastest growing region with the highest per capita GDP in New Zealand and use that as the example of the failure of government's economic policy. Mr Speaker, incomes in Taranaki went up, as they have in every other region of New Zealand. Population in Taranaki in the period 2007 to 2010, with a high exchange rate, a worldwide recession, Population went up 
in every region except Gisborne. In every region except Gisborne. Mr Speaker, the government's policy is working, the economy is growing, and the regions are among our star performers. Honourable Clayton Cosgrove. Freedom of speech, great. Mr.